Despite its classic look, the blue dye used to manufacture denim can be hard on the environment and potentially toxic to workers, some researchers say. Scientists at a company in Berkeley, California, have come up with what they say is an eco-friendlier dye, inspired by Mother Nature. They study enzymes that plants use to produce color and program microbes in their lab to mimic that process. The Japanese indigo plant, for example, makes the blue dye molecule in its leaves. So we've taken the genetic information from the plant and used it to inform um, and program our microbes. And so here we have microbes growing on a plate where they're uh, producing indigo in the same way that the dye plant would make indigo. The researchers grow the microbes in a liquid culture where they replicate and divide to produce the indigo color. So here we begin the process of uh, developing out how to best grow our microbes, so it's producing the largest amount of dye. The fabric is soaked in the dye bath and placed on a fabric pattern. And here's the final dyed fabric. This is a, one of the first Hue indigo dyed uh, lab coats that we made. With the advancements in bioengineering and biotechnology, there really is an opportunity to clean up and change these traditional industries for good. While Hugh started his program with indigo for denim, the company plans to create more color options and expand to other industries. So whether that be for the clothes that we wear, the food that we eat, or the paint on our walls, color is everywhere. And Hugh is uh, creating it in a better way, powered by biotechnology. Hugh plans to have its eco-friendly products available to consumers within the next few years. Julie Tabo, VOA News. Oh, <laughs>